Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another video for my class 6th junior students who are entering into uh, you know a new phase of life, class 6th onwards, and they need to be sure, uh, make sure that they understand all the concepts and they practice all the concepts thoroughly. So this is the chapter on factors and multiples which I am taking up in this series of videos, especially for my class 6 students. And obviously these topics form the base for all the quantitative aptitude exams. So the topic in hand today is common factors and common multiples. This is the 13th lecture in this series of videos. You can see the playlist on the channel and uh, watch all the recordings uh, which I have done prior to this video. So common factors and common multiples that is the topic very important for uh, you know forming a very good base for rational numbers fractions adding subtracting and all and uh, lcm hcf those problems they will also come up in uh, a very short while from now uh, because next lectures are based on hcf and lcm only so uh, let's see uh, how many of you are aware of this topic and how many of you watch this to get benefited so uh, let me tell you that we have the best offers going on uh, right now for the new academic session you know, summer vacation is coming up and people are looking for hobby courses. So ebook of short tricks is something very useful for all the school students. They can upskill themselves by studying all these short tricks which will enable them to calculate 10 times faster. The reasoning course is there with us and it forms a very good base for the IMO, the NTSC, the placement exams, the railways and banking exams, you know, all types of exams in which reasoning forms a part. CBSC practice worksheets. This is something we are working on, uh, you know, very hard on uh, these CBSC uh, worksheets. And um, you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963. That's the number. Or you can visit suresh.agarwal.in uh, to download a copy of those uh, amazing practice worksheets. You will not find a better collection of these worksheets anywhere on the internet or in any print form. So to download this. Uh, particular uh, lecture PDF you know this is 60 question practice PDF which I have put on the website and the link of uh, that particular PDF is given in the description box below so you can click that and download this and the previous uh, uh, other uh, you know PDFs which already I have uploaded on the website so let's see the concept in hand today so we have the prime factorization first what how do you do the prime factorization of 60 so, you know, students do that traditional method of uh, writing 60 like this and then putting the vertical and the horizontal lines, you know, you can do that, but you can uh, always use the factor tree method. That's more com compact and much more easier than putting the vertical and horizontal lines. So 60 is divisible by 2 because it's an even number and you should know that 60 divided by 2 is 30. Likewise, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now 15 is an odd number. So now 2 is out of the question. It's not a factor. But 15 is divisible by 3. So 3, 5 times is 15. And then 5 obviously is a prime number. So it is divisible by 5 only. And we get to 1. So all these numbers which I have written here, they are the prime factors of 60. So 60 can be written as 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 5. Now that's how you make the prime factors of a number. I'll take one more example, 216. So if I start with 216, it is divisible by 2 which gives me 108, again divisible by 2 which gives me 54, again divisible by 2 gives me 27 and I know that 27 is divisible by 3 that gives me 9, again by 3 that gives me 3 and again by 3 that gives me 1. So all these are the prime factors of 216. So I can write 216 as 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3. So you can write them in uh, the exponential form also because that will be helpful in finding HCF and LCM later on when I put videos on based on HCF and LCM. So this is 2 raised to power 3 and 3 raised to power 3 multiplied together that gives you 260. Now this is called prime factorization. Now let's move on and learn to find the common factors of some numbers. Now see these are not these are not uh, prime factors. I'm talking about common factors there's a difference between factors and prime factors factors are all numbers which divide a particular number right which divide exactly divide a particular number they are called factors but prime factors are the numbers which 
divide a particular number and they are prime. So, 7 can be a prime factor, but 8 can be a factor, but not a prime factor because 8 is not a prime number. I hope that difference is clear. Now, the common factors of 24, 48, and 60. So, if you see, uh, whenever you have to list down the factors of a number, you always have to start from 1 and you have to end at the number itself. So, the last factor of 24 will be 24 itself. Between that, 24 is divisible by 2, divisible by 3, divisible by 4, divisible by 6, divisible by 8, divisible by 12, and then divisible by 24. That's how you find the factors of a number. Then 48, divisible by 2, divisible by 3, 4, not by 5, obviously, 6, then 8, not by 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, it is divisible by 12, 13, 14, 15, divisible by 16, and then 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and then we have 48. After you reach half, that is 48, the half is 24, the next number will be the number itself. Okay, that will be helpful. Uh, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all numbers divide 60. 7 doesn't divide 60, 8, no, 9, no, 10. Yes, 10 divide 60, then 12, 13, 14, 15 divide 60, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 divide 60, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, then 30 and then 60. So, these are the factors of 24, 48 and 60. So, what are the common factors? Look at the common factors. 1 is a common factor. 2 is a common factor, 3 is a common factor, see I am encircling all the common factors, 4 is a common factor and then 6, see 6 is also a common factor, how about 8, no, 10, no, yeah, we have 12 which is a common factor and then uh, 15, 16, 20, 24, 48, I don't think we have another common factor there. So, what is the highest common factor. Now, that's where I wanted to reach. Highest common factor is 12. There are fa common factors which are lower than 12, but the highest common factor is 12. So, the common factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. They are all common factors, but the highest common factor is 12. So, the HCF of 24, 48 and 60 is 12. Likewise, I, I leave this question as a DIY for you. Do it yourself. 50, 100 and 200. Try to make all the factors of 50, all factors of 100, all factors of 200 and then find the HCF. That's for you. You can post your comments in the comment box below so that I know you are following and trying to solve all those questions. Okay. Let's see the, the next question. Write first three common multiples of. Now, common multiples. See, 2, 6, 10 and 18. We need to write the common multiples. You know what are multiples, right? You know what are multiples? 2, 6, 10 and 18. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. Multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. Multiple of 10 are obvious, 10, 20, 30, 40. 18, 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108 and so on. So, we need to write the first three common multiples. And for that, we need to know the least common multiple first. Least common multiple of these numbers. Now, 2 is 2 itself. 6 is 2 into 3. 10 is 2 into 5. And 18 is 2 into 3 square. Now, that's how you first represent the numbers in terms of its prime factors. And therefore, the least common multiple will be you can see that 2 is a common factor. So, I will write 2 once. And then 3 and 3 square. The higher power is 3 square. And then we have another 5. So, what is the LCM? LCM is 5 to the 10 and 9. So, 90. The LCM of 2, 6, 10, 18 is 90. Now, if you have to write the common multiples of these 4 numbers, you just write the multiples of 90 and you will have the common multiples of all these 4 numbers. So, what are the common multiples? 90, 180, 270, 360, 450 and so on. You can write any number of common multiples of these four numbers. Just find the LCM and then write 
the table of that number. Okay, so let's see the next one. Now I'll I'll leave that as a DIY for you. Don't worry. Write all natural numbers less than 50, which are multiples of two and three. So multiples of two and three. What is the LCM of two and three? LCM of two and three is six, right? So you just need to write the multiples of six, which are less than 50. That's six, 12, 18, so on up to 48. Let me know in the comment section how many multiples are there and you will get to the answer. Fine. So this was lecture 13 based on the class 6 chapter of factors and multiples. I hope you're liking all these videos, getting benefited by them, sharing them. That's very important. You know, you have to share them on your WhatsApp groups, on your school groups, wherever you are, you are uh, on the social media. You have to post the link so that uh, maximum number of students get benefit out of this. And I hope you have subscribed the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications of all these useful uploads on the channel. Thanks for watching this and I hope the link given below for downloading the 60 questions practice PDF with answer key is going to be very helpful for you. You can also send me a message 9896369963 if somehow you are not able to download those PDFs from the website. Thanks for watching and all the best.